I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the free downloadable ebook Terrorism, Exile, and the Path to Freedom from Dr. Michael Youssef. He uses his first-hand knowledge of the Middle East to uncover the shocking history of radical Islam and discusses the only way to save our Western civilization as we know it. Download your free guide now by clicking on the Free Stuff link at MarlarHouse.com. Offer expires Friday, March 31, 2017. An Alabama man drunkenly crashed his truck into a ditch on Tuesday, got detained at gunpoint by a civilian, and then was busted with a stolen gun, which fell out of his butt at the jail. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure this is one of those Jeff Foxworthy's you might be a redneck jokes. White House spokesman Sean Spicer is apparently fed up with questions about the Trump administration and Russia. Spicer commented at his daily press briefing the other day that, why, if the president starts Putin Russian salad dressing, um, uh, I mean, he starts putting Russian salad dressing, oh, never mind. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research in Germany say our ancestors had the same odds of dying at age 30 as men today face at age 72. The most advances in longevity have actually been made in the past 100 years. However, living longer does have at least one downside – money. Making our savings last through a 30-year retirement is difficult at best and impossible at worst. Governments worldwide are not prepared to make up the difference. The International Money Fund reported in 2012 that if the average lifespan increased just three years by 2050, the cost of aging would increase by 50 percent. Add to that the news that NASA has possibly created a reverse aging pill to give to Mars astronauts for the long trip. Well, what happens once that hits the consumer market? Retirement age is now 182. President Trump has turned down an invitation from the Washington Nationals to throw out the first pitch on opening day at Nationals Park in D.C. due to a scheduling conflict. What wasn't reported is that the so-called conflict is that he throws like a girl. Friday is National Crayon Day, and Crayola is going to use that day to announce that they are retiring a color from their 24-count box. It's the first time they've done that in 100 years, and they'll let us know which one it is on Friday. No doubt followed Saturday by somebody screaming racism because that color represents my cultural background. There was talk that Kanye West was in talks with NBC about a reboot of American Idol. Kanye says, not true. So we can all breathe a collective sigh of relief. Italy is looking at becoming the first country to offer paid menstrual leave. Not for the women, though, but for the men who have to be around them at work every month. As many millennials are struggling to figure out their career paths, Lorraine Maurer's story may serve as an inspiration. Maurer, a 94-year-old great-grandmother from Indiana, celebrated 44 years of service at McDonald's the other day, and she's not retiring. Maurer gets up at 3 a.m. for her 5 a.m. shifts on Friday and Saturdays. She has worked at several locations of the chain in Evansville, Indiana since 1973 when her husband retired due to a disability. And I'm going to take a wild guess here and say she has not once picketed about not getting paid $15 per hour. In Egypt, a woman was stopped at a border crossing after guards noticed that she looked strangely fat. The woman's shape raised suspicions, and a body search by a female border guard turned up three crocodiles strapped to the woman's waist. The animals, each about 20 inches long, were concealed underneath her loose robe. Man, good thing they found the crocodiles, though. I mean, if not, that would mean they targeted a woman for being strangely fat simply because she was strangely fat. Not politically correct. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>